Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Helpful Lock Picker here. And the video I have for you today is going over can you really open up a lock with just bobby pins? This is something that you've seen in many different spy movies and all around the internet. And I'm going to show you a first hand example of this in just a moment. Please stay tuned. All right, so the lock that I have in front of us here is a clear acrylic pad lock. This is one of the first locks that many people first learn to work on when they are learning to open up locks. It provides a really great visual aid, so you can really conceptualize what's going on. So in order to get this lock open, what I have done is I have taken a bobby pen and I fashioned it into a lock pick, and then I have taken another bobby pen and I fashioned it into the tension wrench. So the answer to my earlier question is absolutely yes. You can definitely open up locks with bobby pens. It may not be my preferred method because it really is a lot more difficult, but it is certainly something that is very possible. These locks are historically a lot easier to open up than many common locks, but it is still a lock that is worth being able to demonstrate the process. So what I'm doing now is I am inserting a bobby pin that I have turned into a tension wrench into the bottom of the keyway here, and I'm just making sure that it will be able to tension the plug. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to provide our tension and lift up on each key pin until we find one that is starting to bind up. Once we find the binding driver pin, we're going to set that and then we're going to move on probing each key pin until we find another one that is binding. Once we have set all of the driver pins, the lock will turn over just like this and the lock will open up. So when you have set the lock and you've been able to pick it, what has happened is you have set all the driver pins up above the plug here. All the key pins have dropped back down and now nothing is blocking the plug rotation and the lock opens right up. So what I'd like to do now is just go over a little bit more in depth the process of picking open a lock. Now that you've seen me open up this lock utilizing just a bobby pin, you can see that it is very possible to open up locks just using bobby pins. However, this can be very difficult at times. What kept happening for me is my tension wrench would keep snapping after a couple opens and I'd have to keep making them over and over again. So I do feel like if you were to use a bobby pin to open up a lock, you'd be much better off using a commercial brand tension wrench and then using the bobby pin as your pick. However, that may defeat the purpose. I really do feel that you can definitely open up locks and the answer to my initial question is definitely yes, you can really open up locks with bobby pins. But my follow up question is, why would you? There are so many different lock picks out there and you can get them for so many different prices. You can get introductory sets for as cheap as $4 and then you can get sets where they're about $8 a pick. It's really as expensive as you want to make it. But when you're learning to open up locks, it's your experience and not the tool that makes all the difference. So what I want to do now is just go over some of the principles on how lock picking works. What I'd like to do is go over how the lock picking process actually works. The first thing what I want to do is go over some of the anatomy of the lock. So when you look counting across one, two, three, four, five, six, you can see that there are six driver pins here. And the seventh pin is just a pin that retains the core and that has no bearing on opening up the lock. So all these driver pins are held under spring pressure and these springs push them down into this area here which is called the plug. These driver pins sit recessed which prevents the plug from being able to turn over because they physically obstruct them. In order to get these driver pins up and out of the way, what you need to do is insert the correct key. So below each driver pin is a key pin. Each key pin has a specific height that corresponds directly with the key and when you add the correct key to the correct key pin it will lift all of the key pins up to the very top of the plug here which will push the driver pin up and out of the way. So when you can see the key here you can see how there are ups and downs on it. That is called the bidding. So you need to take the piece of the key plus the key pin. All of them going across terminate at the same height and that will push all these up and out of the way. So I'll demonstrate that for you in just a second. So you can see now all the key pins are lifted up and you can see them all flush across the top here and that has pushed all the driver pins up and out of the way. So when we are trying to pick a lock, what we're doing is we're taking advantage of manufacturing tolerances. So each hole in the plug here 
has a different tolerance. They're not all perfectly in the same spot. They're not all perfectly the same size. And because of this, this creates a phenomenon where we can get a binding pen. So when you take your tension wrench like this, and you insert it into the plug here, and you start to put some tension on the lock, what you're going to do is lift up on each key pin. And as you lift up on the key pin, you'll feel a driver pin bind. On this one, the first driver pin bound up, and as I lifted it up out of the plug and into the Bible here, which is the area where they are all stored, I was able to feel and hear an audible click, indicating that pin has set. And now going across here, the second one feels springy, so that means that it is not binding, and it's just the spring that is holding it down. Three, I feel nothing so far. Four, nothing. Five, I feel that binding up. Got an audible click. That feels set. And then going back to six here. Got an audible click. Then we're just going to go across one more time. One, two, three, four, binding up. And the lock is now opened up. So once you've been able to set every binding pin, the lock will open right up. So to start to summarize, yes you can absolutely get locks open just using a bobby pen. However, I do not find them to be the most reliable tool. The tension wrenches snap very easily and they do not provide the best feedback. If you'd like to use a bobby pen, I highly recommend that you try using a commercial tensioner in congruence with the bobby pen and you'll be able to start to get your locks open much more quickly and then you will not need to worry about your tensioner snapping after almost every other use. However, if you would like to try to use commercial picks, one thing I like about them is that they last a lot longer. They are very inexpensive. You can get some cheap sets like this one for about $4, or you can get some more expensive sets for about $8 a pick, and there are price ranges everywhere in between. But when you're using commercial picks, you can start to do some techniques that you would not normally be able to do with a bobby pen. On this master lock number three, I can do the zipping technique. It's just light tension. You insert your pick and you pull it out rapidly and you're able to set all those pens very quickly. This technique works on many of the lower end master locks. This is the master lock number 140 and it usually works very well. I essentially even just stuck my pick in there and it opened up. Another thing that you can do is try to get a different type of tensioner, which is top of the keyway tension. This tensioner, I feel, provides more feedback. It is more out of the way and just gives you more room to work on. So on this Brinks 40 millimeter laminated padlock, you can really start to get some really great feedback when you are working with a top of the keyway tensioner. But if you want to try to get better with bobby pens, I just want you to just have the understand that you're going to have to go through a lot of them. These bobby pens do not last a long time and they are not as simple as people make them look in the movies. They are a little bit difficult to make, hard to implement, and just do not stand the test of time. So if you want to try to get better at them, it is a pretty cool thing to do and if you have any suggestions on better techniques of making these, any better materials to be able to make them last, I'm always open to hear them and you can leave that in the comments below. I highly recommend everyone check out a set of picks that are going to be more durable and those will really help you grow as a picker. But either way guys, this is all I have for you today. This has been my video on can you really open up locks with just bobby pins? It is a resounding yes, you can definitely do it, and I thank you guys so much for checking this out. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for checking this out.